Mastering the Canvas, the world of painting and sculpture in English-speaking cultures. Hello, dear learners. Today, we'll dive deep into the colorful and imaginative world of painting and sculpture. Both of these art forms hold a significant place in English-speaking cultures, reflecting the history, emotions, and inspirations of societies over the centuries. Join us as we unravel the mysteries behind these masterpieces. The history of painting and sculpture in English-speaking countries dates back to ancient times. In Britain, for instance, the prehistoric Stonehenge might be considered an early form of sculpture. As centuries passed, Art evolved with religious paintings in churches and sculptures of monarchs and deities taking prominence. In the world of visual arts, several movements have left a lasting impact. 1. Renaissance. Originating from Europe, this movement emphasized realism and human emotions. 2. Impressionism. Artists like Monet introduced unique techniques that focused on capturing light and fleeting moments. 3. Modernism, a broad movement that broke away from traditional styles, seeking new forms of expression. English-speaking countries have produced several legendary artists. John Constable and J.M.W. Turner from Britain are celebrated for their landscape paintings. Jackson Pollock from the USA introduced an abstract style, where paint was dripped or thrown onto the canvas. Henry Moore, a British sculptor, is known for his abstract and organic forms, often inspired by nature. While paintings capture imagination on canvas, sculptures bring them to life in three dimensions. From the intricate wooden carvings of tribal cultures to the colossal metal installations in modern cities, sculptures provide a tactile connection to art. Art isn't just about aesthetics. It's a mirror to society's soul. The Aboriginal art of Australia, with its dots and symbolic patterns, tells stories of ancient traditions. Similarly, American pop art, like that of Andy Warhol, reflects the consumer culture of the 20th century. The world of painting and sculpture is vast and diverse. As we've explored today, these art forms are not just visual treats but also windows into the cultures, histories, and souls of English-speaking nations. We hope this journey has added some vibrant colors and shapes to your understanding of the English-speaking world's cultural tapestry. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning.